A woman accused of killing a man then leading police on a chase in a stolen bucket truck will be arraigned this afternoon. We're tracking the investigation into a Lexington car crash that killed a man and shut down a major road for hours. Flash flooding has left a lot of damage behind in Powell County. Coming up, we'll take you there and show you how people are cleaning up. Tracking, alerting, protecting. This is WKYT News at Noon. Good afternoon from WKYT News. I'm Barbara Bailey. I'm Bill Bryant. Here's what's happening at noon. The woman accused of leading police on a chase in a stolen bucket truck last week is now facing murder charges. Vanessa Napier was arrested Friday at the end of a nearly 50-mile chase around the bluegrass. Her boyfriend was found dead outside his home on Athens Walnut Hill Pike Saturday, and now she's charged in his death. WKYT Sean Moody is live outside the Fayette County Court Complex with the latest on this unusual case. It's our top story at noon. Police say John Sharp's family members hadn't heard from him in a couple of days, so police went out to his house to check on him. That's where they say they found him outside dead. Vanessa Napier will be arraigned on a murder charge in about an hour. Police say Napier killed Sharp Thursday night. The arrest citation and coroner's release don't list a cause of death, but the citation says Napier, quote, caused the death of the victim by means of dangerous instruments, end quote. The next morning, Kentucky State Police say Napier stole a bucket truck from a gas station about a mile from that house and led five different police agencies on a chase between Richmond and Lexington. That chase ended on West Main Street in Lexington, where state police say Napier rammed a cruiser. They arrested her Friday morning and charged her with robbery, DUI, and wanton endangerment. It wasn't until Sunday morning that Lexington police charged Napier with murder and tampering with physical evidence. In Lexington, Sean Moody, WKYT. Sean, thank you. Napier declined our request for an interview from the Fayette County Detention Center. Police also found a stolen SUV at the home where Sharp was found dead. Two Eastern Kentucky University football players who got into a bar fight with players from UK have been fully reinstated. The EKU Athletic Department released a statement this morning saying that Colton Scurry and Patrick Graffy have met all the requirements and are back on the team. Now, according to the police report, Scurry and Graffy. Graffrey got into an altercation with UK quarterback Drew Barker, wide receiver Dorian Baker, and defensive lineman Tymir Dubose back in January. Well, it is a nice day here in the bluegrass. Those temperatures are warming up. We have plenty of sunshine in the Commonwealth. By the end of the week, it'll really be feeling like summer around here, and those rain chances will be ramping back up here and there along the way. Let's go to WKYT meteorologist Micah Harris live in our first alert weather center on this summer day. Yeah, we have a little rain back to the far. I mean, you got to go as far as you can to eastern Kentucky to actually see some of this rain. And it's over the Phelps region, over in far, far eastern Pike County. And that is it. It actually looks pretty good outside. Temperatures are in the 70s and 80s, where you do see the 70s. Down south and southeast is where we have the cloud cover. So it's kind of hard to get those temperatures to rise. But we're at 80 degrees right now in Lexington. And planning ahead going throughout the rest of your afternoon, kids, take them out to the pool. Go to the lake, the river. It will feel really, really nice for the lake and river. Still kind of humid. But there is a chance of rain for the far eastern zones. That's your best bet. And even over there, it's very small, 20, 30 percent, and that's about it. So today is your day to knock out some yard work, because I know a lot of us need to do that. We just haven't had the chance the past, uh, what, couple of weeks? Do that now. Off towards your evening hours, you should be just fine, because tomorrow, guys, that's when we start to see some more rain move off into the forecast, and that's our focus. And we'll have that coming up in just a few minutes. Okay, those details in a bit. We thank you. As Micah just said, showers and storms return to our forecast tomorrow. That is unwelcome news for several Kentucky communities that are still dealing with the aftermath of last week's heavy rain. Flash flooding was a major issue in Powell County. It caused a lot of damages to homes and businesses. And WKYT's Mike Linden has reaction now from a man whose driveway was simply washed away. People in Powell County are still cleaning up following rounds of heavy rain going back to early last week and through this weekend. And for one family that lives on Black Creek Road, it's pretty difficult for them to even get to their home right now. After heavy rainfall late Thursday night, Wallace Reed says he heard a strange sound early Friday morning. He says around 5 o'clock, his driveway was covered by several feet of water 
and pieces of debris after flash flooding along Black Creek. Reed says the flood water dropped back no less than two hours later, but in the process, washed out his driveway. The water was about four foot over top of my bridge, running. The creek was running. And, you know, I thought he was gone. Reed says that he's still holding out hope that the judge executive's office will declare his driveway a disaster area and aid him with the repairs in order to get the driveway functioning once again. In Powell County, Mike Linden, WKYT. Mike, thank you. And Reed says that creek has flooded three times over the last 35 years or so that he's lived along it, but this is the first time that his driveway was damaged by floodwaters. We're working to learn more about the victim of a late night motorcycle crash in Lexington. Police say the motorcycle and truck collided just before midnight at the South Point intersection on Nicholasville Road near the Fayette Jessamine County line. WKYT's Mark Barber is near the scene now with the very latest on the investigation. Mark? Neighbors who are close enough to see and hear the fatal crash say this has happened here before. They're hoping that the latest tragedy will be the last tragedy. Most of the time, have two accidents at least here in a month. It's a very, very bad intersection. The latest accident at Nicholasville Road and South Point Drive happened around midnight. Officers tell us the driver of a truck that was turning off Nicholasville and onto South Point hit a motorcycle. The man on the motorcycle was killed. We're told police don't know if speed or alcohol were involved in the crash yet. Officers tell us so far, charges have not been filed against the driver of the truck. Dorotea Brenu lives a few doors down from where the man was killed. She says she has been wondering for years about what needs to be done to make the intersection safer. My neighbor across the street got killed right here in this intersection. How long ago? Oh, that was maybe two, three years ago. I did get a chance to speak with the girlfriend of the man who was killed. However, she asked me to keep what was said confidential. She says it's just too painful for her statements to be made public. In Lexington, Mark Barber, WKYT. Mark, thank you. The coroner has not yet identified the man who was killed. The search continues this morning for a missing Central Kentucky woman. The Nelson County Sheriff's Office is looking for Crystal Rogers. Police say her car was found on the Bluegrass Parkway with a flat tire, and the keys and her personal belongings were inside. Rogers' boyfriend last saw her Friday. Her family is very concerned this afternoon, and they say it's not likely that Rogers would take off without telling someone. Well, this fall, dozens of homeowners in Lexington will see an increase in their property taxes. The Vacant Property Review Commission has identified 69 homes as being vacant. And in an effort to clean up the city, Lexington will raise the property taxes on those homes by $1 for every $100 of their property value. WKYT News went with a city leader last week to examine those vacant homes, and we went back again this summer to see if the commission has prompted homeowners to make changes. This is really one of the worst ones, um, in my opinion, that we have. I frankly, I, I think that this property owner has been given more than enough time. This property has been sitting like this for a very long time. Tonight on WKYT, we'll hear from the property owners and find out if city leaders think they are making any progress in getting rid of those vacant properties. A lot of communities facing that issue. Absolutely. Well, you can sample some of Lexington's very best hamburgers in a brand new way this week. Well, this is going to be fun. Lexington Burger Week kicks off today. 20 restaurants are participating in the inaugural event. Each restaurant will create a $5 special burger that's not on the regular menu. Chefs are also competing to make the most unique burger in town. Uh, sounds like fun and a delicious way to do things. And yes, it's it is. good to have you with us on WKYT for the news at noon. Voters in Greece have decisively rejected terms of a debt bailout deal. Find out what this means for its future in the Eurozone next on Kentucky. He's number one at midday news. And also ahead, a christening ceremony held in London this weekend for Britain's newest royal heir. We'll have more on that historic event and much more news coming up on WKYT News at noon.